Hello guys! Clash 1 and Clash 1S flashlights review. I will speak about their characteristics, show how they look on Glock 17 and Glock 19 pistols and demonstrate the modes. That will be a review in comparison. Those flashlights look alike, but they serve for different purposes and the choice of a flashlight depends on the goal you are following. My name is Anastasia and let's start with basic differences. First of all, the kit. This is the kit of Clash 1 flashlight and this is the kit of Clash 1S flashlight. The kit of Clash 1 includes a manual. The flashlight is packed into a stylish metal cylinder and includes a flashlight itself and also an additional rear part that is designed to install the flashlight on rifles as well as pistols. So it is a universal flashlight. This rear part is for pistols. And the other one is for rifles. I will show you how to replace them. Also the kit includes a tactical switch to use it together with a rifle rear part. Clash 1S flashlight is a pistol flashlight. It has only one rear part. It is packed into a leather bag. And the kit includes this bag, the manual and the device itself. Second, size. The dimensions of flashlights differ on the size of the reflector and the weight corresponds the same way. The weight of Clash 1 flashlight is 112 grams. The weight of Clash 1S flashlight is 103 grams. This is the weight with a pistol rear part and it includes two batteries. So the batteries are inside the device. Clash 1S flashlight was initially made to be mounted on pistols and it does not exceed the dimensions of Glock 19 pistol. It fits it perfectly. But it can be mounted on other pistols with a Picatinny rail as well. For example, Glock 17. On Glock 17 it looks really tiny. Clash 1 flashlight was initially designed in order not to exceed the dimensions of Glock 17 pistol and that's how it looks on Glock 17 does not exceed its dimensions from any side this way. But it can be mounted on other pistols with a Picatinny rail. For example, on uh, Glock 19 it is a bit bigger than the pistol, but it is not so important. Clash 1 on Glock 19. Third point, characteristics. As I've told you earlier, they differ on the size of the reflector and that is a key difference. Clash 1S flashlight does not have a reflector and that gives this flashlight a maximum white light, so-called effect of wall of light. Clash 1 flashlight has a reflector and has a more focused light. So, this is Clash 1S, very, very white light. This is Clash 1, focused light. That affects the effective range of both flashlights. The effective range of Clash 1 is 150 meters. The effective range of Clash 1S is up to 15 meters. It is designed for work 
inside on pistols on short distances. It blinds the enemy and covers the user in some sort of a cloud of light. So it is very effective for those purposes. And Clash 1 is a more universal flashlight and it can be used on rifles as well as on pistols. The light output of flashlights is Clash 1 500 lumens, Clash 1 S 700 lumens. Modes. The modes of Clash 1 and Clash 1 S flashlights are the same. The first mode you will face after buying one of those flashlights is a blocked transport mode. Those flashlights come from the factory in a blocked mode, so they do not accidentally turn on while being transported. So to unblock it, you need to press two side buttons simultaneously and hold them for several seconds. Now they are unblocked. If you need to block it for some reason, you press two side buttons simultaneously and now it is blocked, so buttons do not react to pressing. But I will unblock it now and demonstrate all the other modes. It has side buttons and back buttons. Side buttons turn the flashlight on in a continuous operation mode, so in constant mode, this way. Back buttons turn the flashlight in an impulse mode or tactical mode, so it is turned on while I press the button. If you press the side button twice, the flashlight turns on in a stroboscope mode. If the flashlight is on in a stroboscope mode and if you press the back button at this time, it goes to tactical mode, so it works in constant mode and stops working while you stop pressing this button. And if the flashlight is turned on in a constant operation mode and you press the back button, it goes to stroboscope and after you stop pressing the button, it turns off. There is also a brightness control in this flashlight, for example, you turn it on, you press the side button and start holding it and some levels of brightness go on. For example, I would like to leave this level of brightness. I stop pressing the button and this level is saved. I switch it off, I turn it on again and the brightness is preserved. To quickly switch to the maximum brightness mode, you press the side button twice. Now I will speak about a feature available only in Clash 1 flashlight. It is an ability to place it on a rifle as well. And on a rifle it will be a great couple together with, for example, Pierced 3 combined device. They look like this together. And for that you need to replace the rear part. And we will do that now. Take a screwdriver and unscrew two screws in the rear part of the flashlight. By the way, the batteries are replaced the same way. Both Clash 1 and Clash 1 S flashlights use two batteries CR123. Now I place a rifle rear part here. It has an adapter for a tactical switch and two buttons. One button for a fixed mode, another for impulse tactical mode. This is Russian letter F for fixed mode. This is Russian letter E for impulse mode. To connect the tactical switch, connect small red dots on the switch and on the adapter, like this. The modes with the tactical switch are the same the only difference is that the switch has two locks. One lock is a safety lock. This means turned off. This means switched on. And this lock is for choosing an impulse or a fixed mode. So this is Russian letter E for impulse mode. This is Russian letter F for fixed mode. 
Clash 1 and Clash 1S flashlights can be bought in our partner stores. The list of official partners is stated on our website en.zenitko.ru. In nearest future we plan more videos about pistol flashlights, so stay with us and goodbye!